Hey guys, it's me, Crystal, and I'm here today with a birthday Ulta shopping haul. I haven't done a video in so, so long, but this past Friday was my birthday, and I went to Ulta and I treated myself. I went in for one thing, but I had a 20% off coupon, so I ended up getting a couple things because, hey, 20% off, why not? Let me show you what I got. Alright, so first let's start with the re-up items, the things that I use every day, my holy grail items that I just need to uh, restock on. Um, I don't even know how this got in the bag because I didn't get this from Ulta, I got it from Five and Below, and it is this Wet n Wild Mega Last Retractable Eyeliner, I got it in the color um, Black is Black, and it's just your basic uh, retractable eyeliner with the product at one end and then a smudger on the other. This item is a holy grail item for me, it is the uh, Maybelline Baby Skin Instant Pore Eraser uh, Primer. I've used a couple different primers. I used some NYX primers that I really wasn't happy with. I tried Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is really good, but that's like 10 to 16 bucks, whereas though this is $5, and it, it holds up to a lot of the high-end um, primers, or maybe a little bit better than a lot of uh, the other primers that I tried. So this is a really good, inexpensive primer to use, and I use it every single day. This is another holy grail item of mine. This is a new one because I just, this is actually my second time trying this. Um, this is the L'Oreal Paris Telescopic uh, Mascara. I just started using this, but I love it so much because I have really naked eyelids. My lashes are about this big. And the bristle, the brush on this uh, mascara is really, really thin. And it does a really good job at lengthening and straight, um, separating my eyelashes. And it actually does, um doesn't have the mascara clop my eyelashes together to make it look all cakey and stupid looking. I really do like this uh, mascara and I highly recommend it. Again, this is another drugstore product that's inexpensive and really, really good to use. I also got a re-up on this um, Mincellar water. I actually, I normally use the Neutrogena facial wipes to take my makeup off, but I tried this um, and I really do like the way it takes the makeup off my face plus the wipes are like six dollars and this is six dollars and you get a bigger bang for your buck out of this because you get more product. I also like the fact that it has this little like squeezy hole on top so that way you're not wasting product. It's easy to control how much actually comes out and again like I said it does a really good job at taking the makeup off your face so if you haven't tried this ladies give it a try. I think you might like it. It's good for all skin types and I have oily skin so it's just water and no oil is in it so it's really good for oil or like it says on the, the bottle all skin types even sensitive skin so I also picked up a retractable lip liner in the shade vanilla sky I am big on nude color lipsticks I wear them most of the time um, and this goes with every shade of nude lip gloss or lipstick there was only, I wanted to get two of them, but there was only one left in the store, so I see that a lot of you ladies like this product also. This is from NYX, and they run about $3, but I actually found this one mixed in with a bunch of similar colors, and I knew my shade when I saw it, so I was happy and I was excited when I found this one because I actually did go in for this product. Um, so yeah. I'm just happy I got it. Vanilla Sky, again, is what it's called, so if you're a new lipstick girl, try this out and you'll love it. I also picked up two of these lipsticks from NYX. They're from their new line, the blood, the plush line. I told myself that um, I was going to try some of the new bold colors that they have because I saw a post from Ulta about these on Facebook and they had some really vibrant bright colors and I'm like, I'm going to try something different outside the box and of course I get in there and I go for two nude shades. I haven't opened them yet but I'm going to open them now with you guys so I can swatch them and show you what they look like. This one here is in the shade Dime Piece. It's just like that. And that's what that looks like. Dime Piece. And I, I got it because it's called Dime Piece. In my mind, I am a dime, so yeah. This one is in the shade Nude Beach. Do you want you to get that up here? This might be an instant fade. And that one there is Nude Beach. Really hope you guys can see that. 
but these are two really nice colors. The dime piece has more of an undertone, I mean, sorry, the dime piece shade has more of a pink undertone to it, that one there, and, oh, sorry, that one there, and Nude Beach is more of your regular traditional nude color. But I think I'm going to like them both, and I'm happy that I got them. It's a really nice creamy consistency, and I hope they last long. I also picked up this NYX Cream Contour and Highlight, Highlight and Contour Palette. I got this because one of my homies on Facebook, Amisha, what's up Amisha, she posted a picture of this telling me, well, saying how much she liked the product, and I wanted to experiment with the Cream Highlight and Contour Palette. I was going to invest in the Anastasia Beverly Hills Palette, but of course the price difference, that's, I don't know how much it is, but I know it's more expensive than this, which was like $15, no, probably $10 or $11, and... I've never highlighted or contoured with a cream product, so before investing in the ABH one, I'm going to give the NYX one a go to see if I actually like working with the cream based products. So she said uh, that it's really good and I'm really going to like it, so I hope you're right, Amisha. This is the Urban Decay uh, D Slick uh, Makeup Setting Spray, the Oil Control Formula, and um, I love this stuff. It works well with matte makeup and it controls your oils throughout the day so that way you don't have to touch up, retouch your makeup throughout the day as much. I've used Max Prep and Prime but I, I use that a lot when I want like a dewy finish to my makeup. This is great for matte makeup and like I said before it's amaze balls for oily skin. Don't know why I got the small one and not the large one because I use it too much. I need to invest in the larger one. This one's like $14 and the big one's like $30. But it's a big fat bottle, so if you, um, I should have got the big one. Try it if you have oily skin and you wear a lot of matte foundations. This will help control your oils throughout the day. It's a good product. Also got this Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow Pomade. I'm late to this. Everybody's tried it. Everybody loves it. Blah, blah, blah. I'm not big on brows. I do very little to my eyebrows. I don't like, I've said it a hundred times before, I don't like animated looking eyebrows. Those big over the top looking brows. I like my brows to look really natural so I don't do a lot to them. Right now I use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Brow Woods Pencil and I love that to death because it's really, really easy to work with and it makes your naturals, uh, your brows look really natural. Um, I've heard really good things about this and I do want to experiment using different, um, brow products so I try I'm going to try the pomade I'm going to do a review on this to let my uh, beginners know if it is easy to work with and if it does what it says it's going to do like hold your brows in place it's waterproof and smudge proof and all that good stuff so keep an eye out for that review and I'll keep you posted on when I'm going to do it again I'm late on the bandwagon to this product but I am super happy that I got it I put it back in the packs for this video but I've used it every day since I got it um, like I said, I have really, really little eyelashes. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. I said I'm going to treat. This is what I went in there to get for my 20% off because I've heard so many good things about this mascara. And the packaging is really pretty. That's one thing I do like about it. It's like a nice metal tube and it's blue and pretty. And I got this in the um, waterproof formula because it comes non-waterproof and in this one. But it actually does really well with my lashes. I do two and three coats and my lashes are va va boom. I'm not an eyelash, I mean a falsies girl because they kind of feel irritating on. I have to really feel glamorous to want to apply false lashes. I put a couple coats on of this on and I don't need to apply um, falsies. If you can invest in a good mascara or you want to, um, or you have naked eyelids like me and want lashes, this is a good product to invest in. It was like $23. That's another reason why I never tried it before because why spend $23 when you can spend, what, $6 on a good mascara? But I use these in combination with each other. This I put on first to separate my lashes and to lengthen them. And then I add two coats of this on and boom, mm, lash heaven. I also got this Urban Decay Naked Illuminated Highlighter. I want to show you guys what this looks like. This is a really, really pretty highlight. This is the casing. comes with this brush. And look how pretty this is. It's like a nice shimmery, pale pink shade. Yeah, so I saw that and I couldn't resist it because what girl don't want to be highlighted? You know what I'm saying? Well, lastly, I got 
this Lancome Tint Idol Ultra 24 Hour Fan Makeup Foundation. This is a good foundation. This is actually the first Lancome product I've actually tried and I've used it every day since I got it. I got it in the shade um, 460 Suede W, warm or whatever. This is what the bottle looks like. I love the fact that it has this pump. It's not like all those MAC foundations where you have the, or the, um, what's my other favorite? The Dior um, matte foundation that you have to pour it out and it oozes all out. I love this pump. It keeps it clean and you don't waste any product. But it's a nice matte foundation. It's great with oil, oily skin, and it just goes on flawlessly. It says you don't have to retouch throughout the day, but I did have to retouch my makeup once, but it was no big deal. It, this is a really good foundation, and if you have oily skin, I highly recommend it because it does a good job with oily skin, and it just it goes on flawlessly. I wish I would have put foundation on today so I could show you, but I didn't put foundation on, so I will do a review on this so you guys can see. Um what it looks like on and I'm going to do it in the morning and then I'll show you before and after pictures so you can see if it holds up to the 24 hour claim keep an eye out for that and I'll keep you posted on when I'm going to do that review but this is a really good foundation and if you have oily skin like me try it out that's all everything that I purchased but I did get two free samples um, for spending money uh, this is Boing found not foundation uh, concealer from um, Benefits. The girl at the counter told me that it was a really good under eye concealer and this is what it looks like. I like the fact that it has this little teeny tiny mirror inside. This is like a nice sample. <laughs> I haven't tried it yet but I'm going to give it a try because I love my concealers and I love experimenting with them to find a crease proof one or one that is going to hold up and cover my under eye bags because Mama got a lot. I also got a free eyeshadow from Buxom. And. Oh, this is pretty. Uh, this little package. This is really nice. And this is in the shade um, Mink Magnet. Oh, this is really pretty. That's what that looks like. That's going to be a nice uh, shimmer for your lid area. I'm going to. I'm going to use this. I know I'm going to use this. Because this is really pretty. And that's everything that I got, guys. I hope you guys like the products that I purchased. If you have some of these and you love them or hate them, please comment below and let me know your thoughts on any of these products. Please give this video a big fat thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so already. I really do appreciate you watching. Have a good day. Bye-bye. Oh, a Dollar Tree and I found so many good makeup products. And I just felt like I wanted...